This is the AB4WS Radio Show. Every week, bringing you the exciting amateur radio news and information happening in the greater Cincinnati, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana areas. The AB4WS Radio Show can be found on the Apple Podcast app or your favorite podcast application. Sad news of the passing of a true amateur radio legend, Joe Munson, WA4VAG, has become a silent key. Joe has always been well known in the amateur radio community, dubbed one of the green radio guys, for his use of military surplus equipment and military radios. Joe spent his military career in Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War and was a professional photographer for the Kentucky Post, where his photographs have been published by the Associated Press around the world. Check the Kenton County Library Photographic Archives to see hundreds of photos which Joe has taken. I think everyone has a favorite story about Joe. Joe was quite the character and is certainly missed in the amateur radio community around the greater Cincinnati area. Our thoughts and prayers to his many families and friends. 73 Joe. Also passing this week was Terry Rowe, WD4IXL, who was a member of the Clark County Amateur Radio Club and an advanced class operator who has been the secretary of the Greater Louisville Hamfest Association since the early 1980s. She was also the former vice president of the Clark County Amateur Radio Club. She taught algebra, geometry, and biology at the Kentucky School for the Blind from 1976 to 1993. This great person will be missed. Our thoughts and prayers to her family and friends. The Northern Kentucky Amateur Radio Club has a new Facebook page. Look for the NKARC-official for the new Facebook group and follow. The old NKARC Facebook group was owned by the previous administration who refused to turn over the page to the newly elected officers. So make sure you sign up for the NKARC-official Facebook group. Also, the Northern Kentucky Radio Club is once again holding amateur radio license exam sessions. For more information, go to k4co.org. Michael N4DCW says that the campsites are rapidly filling up for the 2024 Summits on the Air Kentucky Workshop at the Kingdom Come State Park for the weekend of April 13, 2024. So if you're interested in camping there, make sure you make those reservations today. They're planning for another great workshop and with presentations like the introduction to Kentucky Soda and being able to answer all your questions you have about Summits on the Air. For more information, contact Michael N4DCW at Michael at N4DCW.com. Com. The Southwest Ohio DX Association, SWODXA, in conjunction with ICOM America Incorporated, has announced the DX Mentor Recognition Program to recognize and reward amateur radio operators who have helped others achieve DXCC. An application form is now available for those who wish to nominate their DX Mentor. Amateurs who have received mentoring from a nominee must be under 30 years of age during the calendar year of the award. Targeting this age group is meant to keep such amateurs engaged in the hobby after they achieve DXCC. The judging committee will comprise SWODXA representatives and a representative from both the Northern California DX Foundation, NCDXF, and the International DX Association, INDXEA. The awards will be presented at the DX Dinner held annually in conjunction with the Dayton Hamvention. For more information in the entry form can be found at www.swodxa.org slash dx-mentor-program or by emailing the dxmentor at gmail.com. Steve NATFD is looking for volunteers for this year's Flying Pig Marathon with activities May 1st through May 5th. The volunteer website is up and going at flyingpigmarathon.volunteerlocal.com. Use the password of HAM. If you have any questions or problems, reach out to Steve NATFD at NATFD at fuse.net. The Monic South Group will meet on February 17th at 6 p.m. at the Donato's Pizza, 15 Donemeyer Drive in Bellevue, Kentucky. The Ohio Aries District 10 will host the Ohio Aries Conference on February 17th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the TriPoint Medical Center, 7590 Auburn Road in Painesville, Ohio. The Northern Kentucky Amateur Radio Club will hold their meeting on February 19, 2024 at 7 p.m. at the Bethesda Community Church, 989 East Mount Zion Road in Independence, Kentucky. Mark your calendars for Thursday, February 29, 2024, when once again there will be a Kentucky multi-mode digital voice net through XLX721 Alpha. Early check-ins will start at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and the net will start at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The Kentucky digital voice net can be accessed by any of the following modes. DMR, Brandmeister, Talk Group 3121232, D-Star, Connect using DCS721 Alpha, Echo Link on KY4RW-L, Node number 6. 656692 or YSF Reflector 51149. See you there. 
On March 5th, 2024, the Okine Amateur Radio Society will be meeting at 7.30 p.m. at the Lachlan Church of the Nazarene, 335 West Wyoming Avenue in Lachlan, Ohio. This meeting will be both in person and virtual over Zoom, with guest speaker being Tim Duffy, K3LR from DX Engineering, who will talk about the K3LR story. Tim will be presenting at the beginning of the meeting with the business portion of the meeting following his presentation. For more information, go to ohkyin.org. March 9th, the Brunch Bunch will be meeting at the Roosters 5050 Crookshank Road in Western Hills. The Queen City Emergency Net will be meeting on March 14th at 7.30 p.m. at the Red Cross Building, 2111 Dane Avenue in Cincinnati, Ohio. The Ham Radio Science Citizen Investigation, known as HamSci, will hold its sixth annual workshop on March 22nd and 23rd, 2024, at the Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio. The event is meant to bring together the amateur radio community and professional scientists. For more information, go to hamsci.org. Do you know where the action's at? Are you ready in case of an emergency in Kentucky? Well, the action in Kentucky is every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time for the Kentucky Emergency Net on 3972.5 kilohertz, where the Net Control asks their stations to check in from each of the 10 Kentucky Aries Emergency District. You don't have to be a member of Aries to check in, and perhaps if you check in, you'll be interested in helping provide communications in the event of a critical incident or disaster. So on Monday nights at 7.30 p.m., to NetHF train transceiver to 3972.5 kilohertz to the Kentucky Emergency Net for where the action is. Repeater news. The Exwarn 443.1 in Xenia, Ohio repeater is currently off Brandmeister. New DMR repeater in Springfield, Ohio has been set up with two new static talk groups associated with it. Group number 45501 on time slot 1, group number 45506 on time slot 2. Not sure how long these talk groups will last with Brandmeister's control of self-created talk groups. The K8BIG repeater group in Cincinnati now has a Facebook group. Check it out for photos of the new site. And they're promising repeaters will be returning to the air soon. Hamfest. March 2nd is the Cave City Hamfest at the Cave Area Conference Center, 502 Mammoth Cave Street in Cave City, Kentucky. Talk in on the 146940 repeater with a PL tone of 114.8. For more information, go to ky4x.org. On March 10, 2024, the Northern Ohio Amateur Radio Society brings in Winter Ham Fest at the Lorraine County Community College, 1005 North Abbey Road in Elyria, Ohio. On March 16, 2024, the Sevierville County Amateur Radio Society sponsors the 2024 Sevierville, Tennessee Ham Fest at the Sevier County Fairgrounds, 754 Old Knoxville Highway in Sevierville, Tennessee. On March 17, 2024, is the Toledo Mobile Radio Association Ham Fest and Computer Fair at the Owens Community College, 30335 Oregon Road in Perrysburg, Ohio. Are you looking to upgrade your license? Do you have someone else that's interested in the hobby? Here are some upcoming exam opportunities. The Okayan Amateur Radio Society and the Queen City Emergency Network announced the next round of classes for amateur radio licenses and upgrades. They will start with extra class instruction, which will go for seven weeks because of the nature of the material to be covered. That class will start on Monday, February 19th at 7 p.m. in the Red Cross Building, 2111 Dane Avenue in Cincinnati, Ohio. It will run until April 1st, starting the next week, Monday, February 26th, also at 7 p.m. in the Red Cross Building, instruction for the general class. In the technician class, the entry-level ham radio license will also be offered. These classes will go for six weeks, ending on April 1st as well. The testing session will be held on Saturday, April 6th at 10 a.m. in the Red Cross building. To sign up for these sessions or to get more information, send an email to hamtutor at ohkyin.org. The Cuyahoga Amateur Radio Society will be offering ham radio licensing classes beginning Thursday, February 29, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. There will be six sessions held each Thursday and a special VE session on the seventh week, April 11, 2024. There will be three separate classes, technician, general, and amateur extra. Classes will be held at the Seven Hills Community Room, 7325 Summit View Drive in Seven Hills, Ohio. Cost of the classes is $20. The general class is free to all CARS members. Anyone interested in registering for a class should contact Toby Coleman, WTAO at WTAO at ATT.net or 444-525-6109. The Milford Amateur Radio Club holds amateur radio testing on the third Thursday of each month at 6 p.m. at the Miami Township Civic Center, 6101 Mar Drive in Milford, Ohio. Please pre-register at milfordhamradio.org.
The Dayton Amateur Radio Association has exams frequently. For their exam schedule, email exams.wapi at gmail.com. The Northern Kentucky Amateur Radio Club is back giving amateur radio exams. The first exam will be on Monday, February 19, 2024 at 5.30 p.m. at the Bethesda Community Church, 989 East Mount Zion Road in Independence, Kentucky. You must register in advance for the exam by emailing Mark Volstead, AI4BJ at MVOLSTAD at TWC.com. All are invited to stay for the club's meeting as well. On February 25th at 1.30 p.m., the Cuyahoga Falls Amateur Radio Club will hold an amateur radio exam session at the Cuyahoga Falls Public Library, 2025 Second Street in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Pre-registration is required by calling 330-928-8921 or email education at cfarc.org. On March 9, 2024, at 10 a.m., there will be an amateur radio license exam session at the Georgetown Police Department, 550 Bourbon Street in Georgetown, Kentucky. Please pre-register at hamstudy.org slash sessions slash WX4GPS. For more information, contact Ron Malinowski, WX4GPS at 502-542-8252. Special thanks to this week's content contributors, KY4GW, WB8YYS, KD8ZLD, K9HIO, N8LAR, K4NK, you. If you have something you think other amateur radio operators in the area would be interested in, send the information or your recorded audio file attached in an email to ab4ws.radio at gmail.com. Covering your amateur radio news and information in the greater Cincinnati, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana tri-state area. This is Jack Prindle, AB4WS, normally in Big Bone, Kentucky, but this week coming to you from Paradise in Northport, Florida. Do I that, AB4WS? Kilo 4 November, Kilo Uniform. Kilo Charlie 3 Whiskey Romeo Hotel. Kilo 4 November Station. Kilo 4 November, Kilo Uniform. Kilo 4 NKU, good morning, Matt. It's 5 9 in Paradise. Copy the 5 9 in Paradise, Jack. I got you about a 4 4 44 here in the Northern Kilo Yankee. Yes, on the uh, Zyger G90, just running 20 watts to uh, an MV4H antenna. 73, QRZ, AB4WF. Kilo Charlie 3, Whiskey Romeo Hotel. Kilo Charlie 3 station, try again. Kilo Charlie 3, Whiskey Romeo Hotel, you're 5-5 five, five in the state of Maryland, QSL. Kilo Charlie 3, Whiskey Romeo Hotel, QSL on the 5-5, five, 5-5 five, five, five in Florida. Thanks again, AB4WF, QRZ. November 5, Mike India Victor.